motherfucker! <laughs> oh, my name is Drags, bitch! My name is Drags, bitch! I just find it interesting. It just takes out all the fun in the game. How badly do you want people to think you're good? I don't get it. Hello guys and welcome to a new video and sadly today's video is on a subject that I really hate to talk about but I had to. I don't think I have to explain much. The three minutes you just saw sums up everything but I'll go into more details and provide more info in hopes that it helps Activision find a solution to this issue which is the VIP hacks. I'm sure many of you haven't met any hackers and if you did then maybe once or twice. But as you can see from the footage in the background these aren't pro players. If you're not facing hackers it's because you're playing in a server that's still considered a clean fair server. Majority of the hackers right now are from the Middle East server and they are taking over both multiplayer and battle royale modes. And if Activision doesn't do anything then these hacks will reach your server eventually. It's just a matter of time. Also many of you guys that know about hackers in this game are thinking well hackers have been in this game since the start. What's the big deal and why are you bringing this up now? The reason for that is because the number of hackers in the past two seasons reached a point where the game literally became unplayable. And Activision needs to do something as soon as possible. And I'm not talking about about banning cheaters because most of them start new accounts and even buy marked accounts from other players and they go back to hacking. So Activision has two options. The best option is to improve their security and stop the hack itself because according to one of the hack developers the game has been using the exact same security which has been breached long time ago. The second option that can reduce the number of hackers is to ban the account and the device altogether. Sadly the game security is so bad right now and everyone is just developing their own hacks and even promoting for them inside the game Itself. And what's surprising to me that these cheaters are not just using soft hacks like wall hacks on No, they are using big hacks like aimbots, speed hacks and even shooting through walls which should be easily detected by the game security but it's not. And every day we start to see more futures added to these hacks. Now they even have damage hacks and they manage to increase the damage per bullet. Like the aimbot wasn't enough. It's no longer about having fun blasting people with aimbots and hacks. It also turned into a business. And everyone started selling their hacks and the clean players that are trying to have fun are the victims of this cancer and they are facing the consequences. Regarding the hacks right now there are many different hacks being used by these cheaters but most of them get banned eventually. But there are hacks that are considered safe hacks and cheaters been using them for many seasons now without getting banned. They are so confident to the point where they use it on their main accounts. I'm talking about accounts that they spent thousands and thousands of dollars on them without the fear of getting banned. So the question here is why are they not getting banned? Well other than the weak game security the cheaters get host files when they buy the hacks. And host files are basically servers that the cheaters connect to before using the hack. And by doing that, the cheater will be able to trick the game security into thinking that he's a legit player and they can do whatever they want. Now, I don't want to mention the name of the hack because I don't want to end up promoting for it. Because it's not a hack that you can come across easily by searching on Google. Obviously, it's a paid hack. If you want the good shit, then you gotta pay for it. It costs around $50 monthly and it's available for iOS devices. And here's the crazy part and the reason why it's spreading so fast. It's because it doesn't need jailbreak. Anyone with an Apple device can use it easily, just install a cracked version of the game and you're good to go. If we take a look at the hack menu, you can see how advanced it became thanks to all the support these developers are getting. They managed to add more options and also make it safer. Like the wall hacks for example, not only shows players but also vehicles and loot. And the most fascinating thing about this hack is the aimbot. First of all, you have field of view options so you can choose how far the aimbot detects enemies. Then you have an option to ignore bots and just focus on the real players. And in the end, you can adjust the head 
headshot aim. If you want all your shots to go in the head and melt your enemies before they react, just set it to 100. And if you want body shots too, then make it lower. Also, the smooth aim and the aim speed controls the aim switch between every target. There's also no recoil hack and no reload hack. All these hacks are safe right now, not even a temporary ban. And if you're wondering why they have all these options, it's because many cheaters obviously don't want to be exposed. So they don't go 100% headshots. No, they make it lower. And they also lower the aim speed to make it smoother. So when they switch between different targets, it appears normal to other players. Same thing with the field of view. They make it lower and reasonable so that they only target the enemies that appear in their field of view and their screen. And it's also one of the reasons why you think you haven't met any hackers. You might actually have, but you just couldn't tell because of these options. They make the cheater look like a pro and there is no way to tell that he's cheating. And you know the sad part? Most of these cheaters are actually good players. Like really, really good. And I really don't understand why. Why are you using hacks if you're already good at the game? I actually talked to many hackers and the most popular excuse is that they started using hacks because they got killed by other hackers. So they decided to join them and that's the lamest excuse ever. If you hate hackers so much then you need to stop them, not join them. So it became an endless chain. Every day we get more hackers and as a result every day more players end up joining them. Which means more money for the hack developers. And that's why the hack is evolving. Because the devs are getting the resources they need to add new features and make the hack even safer. And you know what drives me crazy and the other reason why I wanted to make this video? It's the fact that these hackers are mostly toxic. I mean they're already toxic using hacks but on top of that they cuss and trash talk other players and they use very mean and offensive words not only inside the game itself but also outside on social media. And it really hurts to see the frustration and pain of the clean players being helpless and unable to do anything. So we're all counting on you Activision. You're the only one that can put an end to this and you have to do it soon. Because big games are coming like Epic Legends and PUBG New State and many players are already planning to switch because they have no reason to stay anymore. And if you need any info about these hacks, I'm ready to provide all the info you need that I haven't mentioned in this video. I really hope this message gets to Activision. I'm on most social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Discord, and I see things you don't see. I see many and many players complaining about hackers and even though players been complaining for a very long time, this season is different. I see clips of hackers everywhere and every day and I even meet them myself. I mean it was so rare to see hackers in Battle Royale but now almost every game has hackers, especially when you play at night. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.